and welcome to the 3D tracking tutorial by Flowmotion. And this is actually the third part of a three-part series all around motion tracking. So if you haven't watched the first two parts, just check them out now. And if you like them, click the subscribe button. But now let's get started with camera tracking. And as this may sound the most complicated, it's actually one of the easiest things to do in After Effects. So I actually want to do something similar to part one of this tutorial series where I showed you the built-in point tracker in After Effects. So if you have watched that or if you like this video just click the subscribe button so I can do more of those tutorials for you. So in part one we tracked several houses and attached small motion graphics to it. So now this time let's try to track this shot in 3D space and just track it once but have the benefit of have every house tracked separately. So how do we actually do that? We need to get a 3D scene out of that. And therefore let's just bring out this New York footage into a new composition. And all we have to do now is to apply the effect called 3D Camera Tracker to it. 3D Camera Tracker and bring it on our footage. And you can directly see that this is analyzing in background. So you could go on working with this shot and you could even hide the warning banner and you can just work as you're used to. But I prefer to have it on screen so I see when it's actually finished. So we have a bunch of stuff to set up here, but for 90% of the shots you don't have to do anything. Just one small tip in the advanced menu, sometimes if the track doesn't work because it doesn't find enough points to create a scene out of it or a camera, you can go to detailed analysis and just enable that and then let it do its thing again. It will take a bit longer but most of the time this fixes the issue. So I'll actually check the detailed analysis just to get a better result for now and depending on which version of After Effects you are using you may get a countdown somewhere over here on how long this will still take but for the last version they took out this part but I personally liked it a lot and I also think that they will get this feature back in future versions and this is what the final tracking result looks like and you can directly see that it has worked because everything that is close has bigger markers and everything that's further away has smaller markers so this looks pretty nice you could also just increase those if they get too small and you can see that they stick so what you could do if you see markers that are not matching the scene or for example you would have like a car passing here and one marker would stick to the car which is obviously not what we want you can just click on the camera tracker and then you automatically have the lasso tool and can simply delete that and then it's resolving the camera but as I said this is looking pretty nice for now and it has a hell lot of tracking points so if you have like a close-up shot or a shot with people moving and so on I would highly recommend to delete all the points that are not sticking to a fixed surface so no objects that are moving throughout the image so now let's create a camera and there we have it we can now just go into a different view maybe a custom view so now the camera is doing the exact same motion than our drone was doing when filming that shot really cool so now everything is pretty easy Let's just look for a point that we want to use. For example, we want to have like a motion graphics element that shows us this is the main building. So we just click on that point and create a text here. We can just hardly see it because it's very small. So let's make this a bit bigger and call this house one just bring it over here and let's play this back and it is sticking to that house but we can 
do that really quick with the next one also so you always have to click on the 3d camera tracker to see the points and where do we want to have another text maybe over here let's create a text and maybe let's directly go somewhere over here create a text maybe somewhere in the front create a text and somehow it also picked something in the water here so let's also create a text I would normally not recommend you to pick points that are in the water but it seemed to stick pretty good and maybe somewhere over here and one in the back and now we have all of this in a 3d environment but you could also bring this one step further for example once again click on the camera tracker and maybe we want to change something on one of the houses so let's take this house here so we just look for points that make up the planar part of the house maybe this one this one this one and by the way I'm holding down shift while doing that and maybe this point and now I can right click on it and create a solid let's quickly align this to the front of the building and just think of this as maybe a LED banner of something or you wanna add like some destruction over there maybe maybe a fire to to one of the windows so now if we play this back that shape just sticks to the building and remember this is all set up in 3d so you can not only pick the points that are in there but let's for example duplicate that one that house of one call this airplane and just push it closer to the camera so this is really cool and you can also use motion blur and when I'm jumping back into kind of a custom view you see that this is our scene we have the skyscraper and all the texts over there really really cool but let me now just bring all of this one step further and therefore I have filmed another small scene with my smartphone actually in 4k and I just wanted to have something with a lot of structure so that it finds a lot of tracking points and with a kind of a flat ground for something maybe a text or logo to sit on and what I've done I have already applied the camera tracker to it so in here I already have the footage tracked so when I click on this you can see there are a lot of tracking points so I want to create a text somewhere over here so I create text and camera and of course I have to rotate my text set the anchor point exactly to the bottom line and rotate it maybe move it over so that we can see it this is 3d take this a little bit move it in that direction and now what we can do to really help this shot is once again go into the tracker take the same points as before and create a shadow catcher and light and there we have it you see that our shadow is cut off and that's because the shadow catcher isn't big enough and this is our light you can of course position this in a different way that's not a perfectly matching of course to the scene because that's pretty diffuse but for the sake of it let's just give it this kind of shadow and we can tweak the shadow with the shadow darkness and the diffusion mm -hmm. 
So this is also the end of the mini motion tracking series that we've done. I hope you learned a little bit in those three tutorials and I hope you liked them and even had fun with them. And if you had, why not click the subscribe button because the more subscribes I have, the more tutorials I can do and I really like doing those tutorials. So now just grab your cameras, your smartphones, shoot something and start tracking your shots.